there's all kinds of crazy health claims for all kinds of crazy products. Is is any of this, I mean, it sounds kind of a little bit like the claims we hear from CBD where they're saying like, it does everything. It'll make you more charming to, to women. You know, men will love you. Uh, you'll get paid more. You know, you'll have a magical unicorn pick you up when you're done at work and take you home. Oh, yeah. No, no. Everything we've got, this is like the original study for the double the lifespan of rats. They did another one with mice. They've, uh, every one of the, anything that we ever talk about, in fact, we have C60 purple power slash forward slash science and uh, dot com. And you can actually go and these are all in science studies. These are all science studies that they've done animal studies. We were the first ones to do a human study. We had 12 people and uh, we did it with eyes, looking to see if it could reduce cataracts. It did a little bit, but uh, everybody in the whole study had significantly improved eyesight. It really, what wow. it does is it, it's, it looks like it really improves the optic nerve and all, yeah. incredibly great, because uh, C60 does like three basic things. It fights inflammation, it supports immunity, and it increases energy and mental clarity. And uh, of course the mental clarity and energy, that's part of, you know, it, it really energizes, passes the blood brain barrier, so it really energizes your nerve cells to work like maximum optimum performance because the actual the retinas are part of the brain, actually. Yeah. So um, if I take this, I no longer have to meditate. Is that right? Uh, no, you'll still have to meditate. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Mom. Um, all right. So we got a couple um, quote unquote reader questions. I think they're uh, from friends of ours. Um, I heard C60 has side benefits like thickening hair. They might be looking at me. Uh, helping allergies and Im- hormone imbalances, like with thyroid. Oh, uh, yeah. Is there any truth to that? Absolutely. Then those are actually backed up by animal studies. And uh-huh. uh, so, so that, and well, we'll I, what it, some of the things, well, one of the things it does, C60 is one of the, look, obviously it's an antioxidant and it's really small molecules. So it gets everywhere and can neutralize oxidative radicals all over your body. Okay. And so, but I don't know what any of that means. Exactly. Exactly. Inside your cells, but inside your cells, there's um, things, little organelles called the mitochondria, uh-huh. and they produce ATP, which is the energy molecule of the cell. Everything runs on the cell, runs 95% of all the metabolism of the cell runs off this ATP. And so when you get older, a lot of the antioxidants your body normally produces, like SOD and catalase, goes down. And mm-hmm. then your mitochondria have to slow down, and so you don't have as much energy in your cells to do everything. Mm-hmm. Take C60, it completely replaces those missing antioxidants, so your mitochondria can run maximum efficiency. You get all the ATP you need and all the metabolic functions in your cell can now work the way they used to be when you were younger. Uh-huh. Um, this, a lot of this sounds like, it reminds me of the movie Cocoon, like all the old uh, folks, they, then yeah. the aliens come and then suddenly they're like young and dancing again. Well, that's actually kind of uh, what happens. Yeah. Uh, but another one of the things those mitochondria do inside of our cell is they make pregnenolone. And pregnenolone is like the precursor molecule for pretty much all the hormones. So when you take C60, like your, it, it'll all the, suddenly, you know, all the hormones and your pineal and pituitary glands and your thyroid and thymus or your adrenals and or your gonads, you know, uh, they all go back. They, they can start producing hormones uh, again. So you get like this return to hormone. We had one guy, he was in his 70s. He had like a testosterone level of 345 which isn't very good. They gave him some creams. He was up like to 750, and uh, which is okay. But then he started taking C60 purple power. He went in, he had 1,200. The doctor uh-huh. had to like back him off his medicines. And and another a person, we have Sierra. She's our IT person. She runs all IT in the company, our CIT or whatever that is. Uh, uh, she had uh, non-functioning, she had Hashimoto's, a non-functioning thyroid, zero. She, after taking C60 for about a year, year and a half, her thyroid, she had to take, reduce her thyroid medicine two thirds because it's now, the thyroid is now working two thirds. Wow, and this is natural, so you're not, you know, it's not a whole bunch of drugs, right? No, exactly, um, C60 has, see one of the things, C60 is a selective antioxidant. That means it only reacts with really high energy oxidative radicals like super oxygen, hydrogen peroxide, uh, the hydroxyl radical or ion. It doesn't react with say, let's say the nitrogen oxides but they're, re- they're reactive oxidative species, but they're also used for signaling molecules. And then there's some other oxidative radicals that are used that are based on zinc or sulfur or iron, and they're used by the body for signaling molecules. But C60 doesn't interact with that. It only interacts with the high energy ones. And that's why they did animal test studies. They, they gave rats like 10,000 times the C60 you might be taking. 
and it had no negative side effects at all. They just had really, really healthy rats. So C60 right. has no toxicity really at any level. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, so in a practical uh, way, you all sent me a, a box of, of C60. Thank you. Um, how do I take that? Do I put it in my salad dressing? Do I just take it straight? What do I do? Well, there's different ways you can do it. Uh, basically, it's like a, a teaspoon. What is it? It's about 0 0.1 milligrams per kilogram is kind of like the concentration, which is a tablespoon would be enough for a 330 pound person. Uh -huh. so, so basically a teaspoon. Why were, you, why, were you, why were you looking at me when you said 340? Oh, uh, no, you, you got a ways to go. Another, a little bit more, a uh, little bit more lockdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll all get there. Uh, yeah. So you just take, so it's about a teaspoon a day. If Now, if you're working on a health thing, you might want to double up. Wait, I'm sorry. So a teaspoon a day for someone my size? Yeah, or someone my, your size. Oh, or, but there's also a thing with age. If you're like in your 60s, which you are, and I'm almost there, or your 70s, you should double up. So maybe like two teaspoons uh, or a tablespoon for if you're in your 60s or and 70s, and you weigh about 150, 160. If uh, if you're younger, you can just a teaspoon a day is all you need. And uh, and, and it's, it also has a stimulatory effect, a little bit like caffeine. So we always encourage people to take it in the morning, not right before they go to sleep. Oh, I was going to ask you. And so just, yeah, so basically it's best to take it in the morning. Uh, now, if you've never taken a, a straight oil before, you know, your body may have a little bit of digestive problems just, you yeah. know, when you first do it. So you can yeah. take it with food. A lot of people use our coconut. They use the coconut and they put it in their paleo coffee. Uh -huh. you know, the guys. So it also works well in paleo coffee. And you can put it on the salad dressings and things, but it just gets absorbed faster when it's taken on an empty stomach. But uh, if you're having difficulties digesting the oils, uh, you can mix it with food. It's not a problem at all. But question about putting in coffee, that surprises me because like I get some of the best raw local honey, actually raw, not heated. And the guy, Tim, who's a friend of mine says, do not put it in your tea, do not put it in your coffee because a lot of the good stuff gets uh, cool. heated. Um, so is it best just to take a spoonful of it? Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. But coffee, the C60 molecule is nearly indestructible. I see. You, you can take and fire it at a, uh, it's, it's perfectly, it's a perfectly round and smooth, right? Right. So it doesn't, you know, and it doesn't stay in the body. It stays in the body an average of 10 days. It just washes out. So you uh -huh. need to renew it. But you can take like a C60 molecule. They've done it lab, fire it at a wall, like a steel wall at, ten, uh, at like 10,000 miles an hour. And it will kind of crumple, deform a little bit, and then just bounce back. Uh -huh. And it's, I mean, it goes right through your stomach acid. It's not going to be bothered at all. It's it's a very but it's it's a cousin of diamond. It's an allotrope of carbon, 100% carbon. Right. So it doesn't really make any permanent chemical bonds in your body. So it just kind of washes out. So even day. though it lasts 10 days, you want to take it a little bit every yeah, day. Yeah, because it goes through different organs at a time. It kind of kind of works through. So you want to, and it takes so it takes about 10 days to build up. So after you take it about a week to 10 days, you'll uh, you'll start to to notice the things that it does, like fighting inflammation. And uh, we should do a video with me in 10 days, and I'll have a yeah, full that's right. Yeah, well, here's, here's an example of one of the persons because I thought I'd give a few testimonials for people. Sure. Okay, I'm a 70 years old and have been poor health. However, after one year taking C60 Purple Power, my high blood pressure is gone. My eyesight has markedly improved. My aches and pains have disappeared. My high frequency hearing loss since I was 18 years old has disappeared. My hair is browner. My energy level is much, much better. I have also lost 50 pounds. I was diagnosed by an endocrinologist as being overweight due to a genetic problem with my liver, which runs in my family. Did you write this one, Ken? No, I didn't write this. So the only explanation of the weight loss is what I would call a miraculous restoration of my liver function. Bless you and all the good people who make this wonderful supplement available. Finally, my whole family and me and my friends are now on board. So that's the sort of stuff we get all the time. I feel pretty good. No, I mean, my macular degeneration went away. It's like, you know, I was always worried, oh, my God, I'm going to go blind or something. It was like this, you know, sort of Damocles hanging over me. But, you know, right. now that's gone. And, and it stayed away. Oh, I just have all kinds of uh, uh, energy now. Like, yeah. you know, I used to get those awesome. afternoon blahs. Those are gone. Yeah. Uh, so let me ask so i take coffee you know good old coffee the other magical potion that we love to tout at elephant in the morning for energy and then usually after lunch like at two i have two coffees a day mm -hmm. so would that be an okay time since you said it's sort of a stimulant like one teaspoon in the morning one oh yeah two 
Yeah, if you can handle coffee at two in the afternoon, then you don't you won't probably have a problem with C60. And there's right. people that can drink coffee right after dinner. Right? Yeah, my dad. I, I could do that. I would stay up all night. But yeah. you know, so those people probably wouldn't be a problem. It's just, different people. Yeah. Is but it's only night owls who can actually yeah. do that, and that just means they're staying up until two a.m. And I know that mm -hmm. from experience.